According to UWP Chairman Ezekiel Joseph, neither Stevenson King nor Richard Frederick attended last night's meeting. And despite a previous commitment by Mr. King to deliver a joint statement with political leader Alan Shastney at today's press conference, Mr. King, whose absence at several party functions was a sore point for members, was again a no-show. The party, Mr. Joseph said, in light of Mr. King's absence at Monday night's meeting, had no choice but to implement the decision taken by the National Council on Sunday. Since he, since the leader of the opposition has made it publicly that he's not going to resign, the parliamentarians has no choice but to implement the decision of the extraordinary National Council meeting, and that is to write the Governor General seeking a withdrawal of, his, of him as leader of the opposition. Also, it has been agreed that Dr. Gail Rigobert will be appointed as the newly... It has been recommended that Dr. Gail Rigobert um, would be... Her name would be sent to the Governor General to be appointed as leader of the opposition. Political leader Alan Shastney has expressed his extreme confidence in the ability of the new pick for opposition leader to more effectively represent the party's interests in the House than her predecessor. According to him, Gail Rigobert is breaking new ground in a number of respects. Not only is she the first female leader of the opposition and likely one of the youngest, but she represents a fresh-faced and re-engineered United Workers' Party. We believe that this is a significant step forward. These are two areas, youth and women, which we believe are going to be critical in the development and the maximization of the potential of solution. And I expect her to be constantly a champion for those two groups. Gail Rigobert appeared unintimidated by the challenge. I understand all too well that that responsibility requires that I work very closely with my colleagues and with the party to ensure that we can serve as an effective political surveillance on the actions and policies of the current Labour administration. The party bigwigs went through great lengths this morning to convince the media that the decision to remove King was not personal. According to the chairman and political leader, it was all business and part of efforts to breathe a new life into the party and make it a more viable option at the next poll. Meanwhile, Stevenson King has been relegated to the sidelines to see how well those fresh ideas pay off. In the letter which was written to me, the leader indicated that it was a time for change and change that the delegates requested. And I would hope that the changes that have been made within the rank and file of the party is intended and deliberately intended to bring success to the United Workers' Party. Neither the chairman nor political leader would comment on the future of Castry Central MP Richard Frederick, who, like King, has been criticized for not towing the party line. For the DBS News World, Kendall Burton reporting.